Hello, fellow diggers. What another glorious day the Lord's made for us to enjoy. We're back again at Glass Lake for another adventure. And as you can tell, it's just a little bit foggy. But anyway, that's not going to hinder us too much, I don't think. But anyway, fellow diggers, there's your panoramic view of Glass Lake. And I... Uh, Hope and pray it's going to be a good day. Hope I don't get snake bit or worse alligator bit. All right, fellow diggers. We'll check you on the next one. Or the first one. Or the, whichever one I find something decent to film. <laughs> Over and out. Mm, hello, fellow diggers. Well, I got my first target. Well, my second target. The first one was an evil one. I think this is a wheatie, the best I can tell. Yep, it's a wheat. Oh, sweet wheat. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Digger Charlie, I was looking at the signs. <clears throat> you see this big old tree? And then you see how these cypress knees, that's what we call these uh, roots that's growed up. We call them cypress knees. And see how it makes a natural trap for coins and stuff. Anyways, looking for the signs. Mr. Keebler. Thanks for the signs. All righty. Check you later, fellow diggers. On the next one. Well, fellow diggers, you never know what's going to be in the scoop. You need to check very carefully with each one. Oh, ain't that a beaut? Put an eyeball on that thing. Yes, sir. Ooh, that one's pretty, pretty, pretty. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Alrighty, I check each and every one of my things, my scoops, and uh, try to dig and uh, make sure I don't miss anything, especially uh, Native American artifacts. They're uh, very possibility you might have one in your scoop and not know it. And it's a rock and it won't uh, ring up. I had a good sounding signal, but I can't find it. It looks like a pair of... Never mind. Oh, it's man-made. Oh, well, fellow diggers. I don't think I got much into that scoop. All right, then. We'll check you on the next one. Well, fellow diggers, every double danger ain't a great one. The evil one. He jumped up and got me. Anywho, fellow diggers, we'll check you on the next one. <laughs> Treasure Jack, you think you got big trees down there in Florida? Day? You check this one out right here, how big it is. There's my detector. Look, there's way yonder as big as my detector anyway i just thought i'd uh, show you that we got big trees up here in north carolina over and out treasure jack well fellow diggers i got the evil one's brother well at least they didn't uh pull the top off and just throw it in the lake they did uh throw the whole can in there so let me deroot it. There we go. Nothing. And I'll put him in there with his brother. All right, fellow diggers, over and out to the next one. Well, fellow diggers, it's been a long time, but I finally got this one out. Another fishing lure. Eh, looks like it's a Winchester. Winchester something another something something anyway check on the next one fellow diggers. fellow diggers check this tree out well that's an old one there now no two ways about it. that is a old old tree there man check you later fellow diggers check this out fellow diggers that's what a cypress tree sounds like Thing must be hollow right on up in there a ways. 
Alright, check you later, fella diggers. Well, fella diggers, evil one showed himself again. <sighs> oh well, put him in the pack. Recycle. Check you on the next one, fella diggers. Well, fella diggers, I got the evil one. And he's got a long tail. <laughs> oh boy. Oh well, fellow diggers. Uh, that's all the send of that scoop. Alrighty then. Check you on the next one. Well, fellow diggers. A 70, uh, 53 on the AT Pro. And I got a, a, a stork skull. You look at that thing. Man, that thing gets fish down his neck. And well, I bet he hate he lost his bill. Mmm. That had to be tough there. Aha, right, fellow diggers, check you on the next one. I got me a metal detecting buddy. Of the four-legged variety. Ah, uh, you can't get you gonna drown me, boy. Get out here. Crazy thing. Anybody want a dog? You ain't doing that but stirring up the water. Thanks. Appreciate the shower. <laughs> oh dear. That's the second time he decided he was going to come and uh, metal detecting with me. Check in around them. You get up there and stay up there where it's drying now, you crazy thing. Anyway, we'll check you on the next hole. Well, something told me I should live, live, live dig this one. I've been dogged. I believe I've actually finally found something been a kind of dry day it's a memorial <laughs> oh dear see if we got any arrowheads in here any bird points no bird points mm, nothing but rocks Rocks that probably fell out of my head. <laughs> Boy, that's good. <laughs> Boy. <clears throat> oh, the lakes just got just as calm. All right, fellow diggers, check you on the next one. Well, fellow diggers, I can't believe it. Two signals, two. Memorials. Hey, better than nothing. <laughs> oh, look at that rock there. This rock. Oh, well, fellow diggers. <clears throat> I'll check you on the next one. Well, fellow diggers, I have to declare I've been to this place, I know, 40, 1100 times. And it's, oh man, that's another memorial. How in the world did that thing get that deep in that clay? I'll never know. Anyway, it's 19 something. <laughs> Good as I can do. Oh well, fellow diggers, let's see if we got any bird points in there. Yes, yeah, sir, look at that clay. Mm. It's getting heavy too, boy. <laughs> Switch this thing around somehow. Get out of there. All right, let's see if we got every bird point in here. See, that looks interesting. No, nothing. Uh, no. No. 
usually where them white rocks like that come up uh, I think they love to use them white quartz rocks I don't know if they're indigenous to this area or not or, but anyway alright fellow diggers check you later well fellow diggers something told me to dig this one live I was it was a 53 and a 53 is a nickel on the AT Pro most of the time it's either that or a evil one but anyways I'll get you some dates off of these coins due to round up at the house as I hadn't got uh, anything with me to do it now I don't want to have to risk dropping my loop in the water that kind of mess but it is amazing you think a place is uh, hunted out I know I've hunted up and down this well all summer long if you look at my, my videos from the past most of them been right in this one little spot I'm going to have to do a, uh, I reckon a year-end thing. I've kept notes when I first started it down here, and I was getting over 100 coins a, a trip. And uh, I got it written down. I'll have to uh, share that with y'all before it's, uh-oh, uh sorry about that, uh, Sandy. I said, y'all. But anyway, Sandy Passions, go by and check her out. And pray for her sister Lisa. She stands in the need of prayer like we all do. But she needs prayer more than most of us. Because she's sick in some way. And But anyway, just remember to pray for her. And, and we'll catch you on the next one. Well, fellow diggers. Uh, this one showed me a, a 47. Jumping from 47 to... 53 so let's see if I've got a nickel or an evil one or nothing Love to see that methane gas come bubbling up Bloop bloop All righty Let's see I see some roundage in there, but I don't think that's the right kind of roundage Well, let's see what we got here fella diggers uh, no, that was an acorn hull. That's what I thought. No, oh, well, oh, I got excited there for a minute. Oh, boy, 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 boy. No, well, fellow diggers, let me uh, rescan the hole, see, see what's going on. Uh, see if I can find my hole again. Let's see. mighty jumpy but I'm starting to uh, dig anything that's a solid signal uh, it's kind of like if it beeps I'm gonna pretty much dig it <laughs> anyways let's see oh got supper 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 if I had about uh, 30 of them Mm, boy, but I don't do. Okay, let's see what we got in here, fella diggers. Uh, that's what I was afraid of. The curse of the live dig, nothing. All right, fella diggers, not a problem. We'll check you on the next one. Oh, that's, well, I'll tell you. Let me get this. See what this is. But anyways, uh, on the edge of these, the edge of the lake, they've, uh, well, as long, as far back as I can remember, there's been, uh, two dugout canoes found on the edge of the lake. That's where they took a, 
uh, cypress tree. I love a dog. Look at her, got me another one. Come on, wheaty, 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 wheaty. No, it's a memorial. But the, uh, the dugout canoes, they took and they'd take the log like it was round. They'd cut it or split it down the middle. And they'd just split it open like that. And then they'd uh, take and start hewing out the inside like getting the seeds out of a cucumber but anyways and that's how they used to make their boats and then they'd ease out there and go catch them some fish but anyway fellow diggers just a point of interest i thought i'd share with you over and out on the next one well fellow diggers my fingers getting tired of mashing the button off and on i got a 53 and lo and behold i got me another nickel i ain't nothing i don't think there's nothing much special about it but Hey, to me it is, because it's mine. Anyway, fellow diggers, we'll check you on the next one. Fellow diggers, let's try this one. Oh, that's a sweet sound on this AT Pro. Hopefully it's more than just a doggone penny this time. Four inches deep, we've got a chance it might be... Uh, Hopefully a little bit better than a clad dime. Uh-oh, there's a mud, mud bottom right there. Once you get past that sand, it goes in that old mud. Muck. Muck and mire. Muck and mire. Let's see if I got it. Well, maybe I did. Let's see what we got here, fellow diggers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, fellow diggers. I don't see nothing. It's a piece of uh, bark. Could that have done it? Is that metal? Yep, that's metal to be sure. That little doggone flat piece of metal. Oh, man. Yep, because that's all that's in there. Oh, well, fellow diggers, huh? Double curses alive, D. <laughs> and I don't even believe in curses. Fellow diggers, that might have been my bad. I might have not pinpointed just right. But now the numbers have dropped down since I've opened up a hole. It might just be a penny. But if it is, it ought to be a wheaty. It's doggone deep as that thing is. Yeah, well, let's look in our goodie basket. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Man, it's a ring. Smushed, but a ring nevertheless. It goes around the spark plug that uh, they use on them outboard motors. Got some more bark. Right, right. <laughs> oh, fellow yeah. diggers, what we got here? Oh, oh. There might be a little pressure flake off of some napping. Anyway, fellow diggers, that ring weight weighs about as much as a penny does. Oh, well. All right. Check it later, fellow. Well, fellow diggers, I knew I should have dug that one live. Lay your eyeball onto that thing. Oh, it's not nothing but a clad quarter, but I'll tell you. It sure is nice to get one. Look at that thing. Ooh, I struck him right, right, right there on the doggone. Anyways, it don't matter. It's a 82, it looks like, best I can tell. But anyway, fellow diggers, walked and walked and walked and walked this place and still missed that big old quarter. <laughs> oh, I'm glad to get it. Thank you, Lord. Mm, check y'all later. Well, I'm going to turn y'all on. And I was getting an 83 in the same hole I just pulled that quarter out of. And let me uh, see. I forgot. The yep, look at there. Look at there, fella diggers. Ooh, that was a, a, a pocket spill. Look at that. 
If clad down, clung. All right. All righty then. All right, fellow diggers. I'm bringing it in on the uh, fourth quarter, first and gold. Well, third and gold. Well, I just about didn't stop. I'm almost uh, knackered. But anyway, perseverance pays off in this case. Well, it must have been all they had, 35 cents. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, it must have been some of them campers. Oh, they, a gob of campers. Mm, boy, I'd hate to have to live that close to somebody. Mm, gracious me. You couldn't even, uh, the whole time you turn the TV on, they'd know what you was watching. Turn the radio on. Oop, her fish break. Fella diggers look right there. See that little, looks like a nut floating on the water. That's actually a turtle head and there's a nut and way out yonder see him right behind that red buoy or burgundy buoy yeah there I'll stir the water up and get the little minners a gun and here they come to get the little minners anyway fellow diggers let me check you later if I, they don't uh, chomp me take me under the Davy Jones's locker well my buddy come to tell me goodbye I reckon, fellow diggers, I'm, uh, I am totally knackered. Oh, gracious me. I don't know what kind of gomer, conglomeration of this, what that is. I have no idea. It looks like some old pale plate or something. Yes, old battery problem, old battery core. Ain't nothing. Ain't got a thing, see? Nothing. No, ain't got a thing. Hmm? <laughs> All right, buddy, buddy. All right. Mm. Oh, old land had dropped it. Great land, them critics be on me, boy. They be on me. I'm gonna get you for that. You won't let that thing drop. <clears throat> oh, don't let that thing drop. Oh. Uh-oh. Did I have y'all on? <laughs> Goat! Hello, fellow diggers. You know, we're here at the Roundup. And it's going to be brief. <laughs> Anyways, I wound up with a 1918 Wheaty and a 1919 Wheaty. Then I got one here that's way too thin. I've never seen a penny paper thin. I can't tell, I can't tell diddly do about it. But anyways, wound up with them uh, two wheats, and that's an unknown. Got um, two, four, six, eight, nine uh, pennies. Got two nickels, got two dimes, got a quarter. And I looked and looked and looked at that thing right there and i finally figured it out i think it's a bullet a smashed bullet that's what that is and we got us a nice little bottle of owen it just popped up into the scoop from glass lake i don't know how it didn't get busted but anywho you know i like that flat top i reckon it used to be a glass stopper went in there i guess but anyway and then the evil one, he had to come join the party. So we got about as many as them as I did doggone uh, coins. And that's just a brass shear pin for a prop. And I got an ear bob. It looks like a pretty old one. I don't know if that was supposed to be a cameo type deal on that thing or not. But you can tell it's the ear bob because there's part that went through your 
earlobe or nose or wherever you want to put that thing. Eyelids. Ain't no telling nowadays. Oh, I got a little baby evil one. And got me a ring. Copper. Wrong kind. Anyways. Got a couple of, uh, uh, look like, look like airhead, sort of. But anyways, that's it, fellow diggers. And, uh, I'll say goodnight to Digger Charlie and Mr. Keebler. We'll see you later.